Welcome back everyone, Toxic here, I'm Scott, my boy Dish Canoe, and today we are playing The Survey. The Survey. So let's jump in, let's see what happens. Guaranteed, we're going to survey something. In the next half hour that it takes to look again. That is a long ass logo screen. But it's like stuck on 9%. Alright, so we'll be right back once it gets loaded in. And we're back. <laughs> Pause button works great, don't it? <laughs> Press E to interact with objects. It's dark as shit. Yes. Indeed. Interact. Hey! There we go. Ooh, I don't like that pull leg. <laughs> Can't interact with the light switch. Baseball cap. There you go. Ah, all right. <clears throat> That's bright as shit. Shit. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually got pretty decent graphics so far. Yeah, it's not bad. Need to find a light switch. Hey. Laundry, something's in the hamper. Down, over. Yeah. I just seen the little thing on the light switch. Okay, so maybe that's what I seen on the laundry basket. Mm -hmm. Weird. Hey. Shine a little light on me. That's disgusting. Somebody needs to learn how to vacuum. Just sweep it under the rug, man. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess there's no, like, battery or anything on the, uh... The, uh, flashlight? On the flashlight. I guess. A bit of hesitation on that door. <laughs> Okay, so... There's a key on there. That you can't interact with. No, you can't interact. I like that shirt. Right. It's a nice shirt. Not many people can pull off stripes. Kudos. Apparently the cable's off. Dang. 2SD. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's it. Let's go right here and do some. That's moving. It's a pretty cool light fixture, though. Oh, I thought it was something else first. What's on there? <coughs> What's that? Eight go? Bowl of soup. Is getting chilly outside. Soup weather. It's question mark. Light switch right there. 
and flick that. Well, that's terrible, terrible lighting. Oh, there's a phone on the table. Press P to open the pause menu. View documents in the pause menu under documents. Okay, P. Documents. Mary Walker. Mary Walker. I'm just going to pause this here so I can read that. It's a lot of shit. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Use the cell phone by pressing the space button. Yeah, that's probably on the piece of paper next to the phone. Zoom in on it, maybe? Like, pull your flashlight out and zoom in. Master bed. Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for the channel numbers, unlock it quickly, she's watching you, don't leave the static on for too long, it makes her eyes bleed, her ears bleed. Right now she's upstairs waiting for you. The codes. The numbers. Nine D. I think it was like 2SD, uh, 2SD, 8GO, and 9D. There's nothing in the closet. It's a five digit pin, right? Four, two. two. So if we come out of here, <clears throat> the first one I see is this, four. Yeah. Four, two. Six, seven, eight. So what was that? Four, two, eight. Four, two, eight, nine. Because the code in there is nine. Is that what it is? IX, nine. No? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Because X is ten. Before it. Yeah. But it's a five digit, so four, two, eight, nine. What does it say on the on the thing? On the paper. <clears throat> well, I, I figured it would let me pick it up, but it won't let me interact with it. Mm -mm. So the only thing it says is uh, Master Bedroom. Other Bedroom. That's the first number. Other Bedroom. Living Room. Look for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Don't leave the static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed right now. She's upstairs. Okay, so master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for the channel numbers. Master, other, living room. Okay. 
Master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Master bedroom is the first one. Channel A. <clears throat> okay, A. Bedroom. And she might be in there with you. Twenty nine. Eight two nine. And then the living room. Eight two nine nine seven. Are you currently situated in your home? Yes. Yes? Are you currently employed? We don't know. Sure. Yes? Nope. No. Easy. Yes. Yes. No. no. <clears throat> Are you a college student? Yes. Do you enjoy being home alone? No. Does it ever feel creepy when you're home alone? Yes. Yep. <laughs> Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as if you were being watched, but in reality you are not? All the time. Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when around certain paintings, dolls, or, or statues. Are there any of those objects inside your house? Well, there's a creepy fucking statue right there, so yes. How many, How many televisions, televisions are currently in your house? Uh, two plus. Three? Yeah, two plus. Thank you for participating. Please take a short break. We will continue the survey shortly. Take a short break. Put it away. Creepy fucking statue right there. Heard that? I heard that. Ooh! I jumped a little on that. I felt you jump a lot, too. <laughs> okay, look perp. TV's on, turn it off. Oh, the statue moved. Yay! And there's a thing on, on, yeah. 
<clears throat> was it P? Yep, P documents. Local prodigy. Was Walker began painting when she was six years old, only being twelve, his child parties he's ever recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. Chubb belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at a law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved to paint and expressed her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from five to ten hours a day just to perfect her craft. Her artwork is gaining popularity as demand for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments such as the violin, piano, and the cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys... We will never know. Resume. Uh. And if your sensitivity is too high, you gotta change it on your phone. You were looking for in it. Oh. So we need to fill a request. We need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working, especially the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. I don't have a master bathroom. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, drag it. Until next hint. Okay, they give you hints. Uh, all right, to the master bathroom. Uh, make sure our shader's working properly. All that was already on, so why is it off now? Light switch. And sync. Okay, I guess you're gonna have to go out there and let her scare you or something. I'm trying to find my spot where to read this note. <laughs> <clears throat> I asked mom to give me a diary after my first painting sold. I just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mom and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I should. It seems like all they want to do is make money from it. The re this reporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver. He apparently. Okay. And he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be in, art, in an article in the local news. Mom said it would help with my public, public publicity. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I hardly even make. I hardly even like painting, but whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope they include Marcus in the article. I know my how much he loves writing. It seems like mom and dad barely even pay any attention to him. Is this my fault? 
Maybe he hates me. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs, and break my, my arm so I can't paint anymore. At least for a while, Lilith. Okay, so in the article, it was talking about how much you love to paint and this and that, so... Obviously, your parents are fucking dicks forcing their kid to paint, you know, for ten hours a day just so they can make money. And yes, I've seen her moonwalk through the wall. Yeah, I was gonna say, that bitch just moon dog through the wall, bro. She pulled a hee-hee. Alright, check your survey and let them know that the washing, or that the shit works in the okay. bathroom. Yeah. Safe. She moonwalked through the other side of the house, so I think we're good. For now. For the next portion of the survey, we will need to your... Fulfill... We will need you to fulfill a request. See the light switches in the bathroom in the master bedroom. Now we already checked those. Continue. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances were perfect. All of you. Yeah. Are they working properly? Yep. Yes. Did you notice anything strange? Nope. Yes. She heard you. Hi. Thank you for your, your input. input. Next set of questions involves your personal, personal preferences, preferences concerning music. music. Do you enjoy listening to music? Yeah, that's what I say. Don't point the light right at the door. Yes. Yes. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Love rock music. Yes. With rap. Not particularly. Do you enjoy listening to classical music? Actually, yes. yes. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Absolutely not. On top of being a talented painter, she was also a talented violin player. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? No. Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? How everyone always paid attention to her? Of course. We have a song that you might enjoy listening to. Turn on the radio downstairs and listen to the song. Yeah, yeah turn on the radio in order to continue. I'm guessing it's your sister. The spooky moonwalker. I'm guessing it's your sister. Where's the damn radio downstairs? Living room, perhaps? Okay, the statue's still there, so... Yeah, it's right there on the table. I don't enjoy that. They were wrong. <clears throat> I think you had to listen to the full song. I don't want to listen to the full song. <laughs> I don't blame you. Turn the light off. Just face the corner. We don't want to see it. Back to the closet. I don't blame you. Watch her be waiting in the closet. Hi, 
Did we really have to sit through that thing? <laughs> I guess so. Come on. Alright, let's go just explore a little bit. Yeah, see if there's anything else. Is that someone still playing? I can't really tell. Turn all them damn lights back on. It was on. <laughs> I know. She keeps going through and turning shit off. Those were open. Or did you shut them? No, I shut them back. Okay, I don't remember. Yeah, that's where she moonwalked. Yep, right out the wall. <laughs> Let's see if it's still playing. I don't hear it. Oh. I love how slowly you turned around. Turn the lights back on, man. That's all you gotta do. Turn the TV on. Oh, oh shit! Damn. Oh. <laughs> Can't take this. I told you to turn the damn TV on. We might have seen her coming. Oh, it's fucking flickering. Yay. the ambience in this game anymore. It just gets super creepy. Uh, of course. Okay. Fucking statue. <clears throat> I don't like statues either. Nope. Nope. Turn around. Fuck that door. They just Go back to the closet. It's a safe place. September 3rd, 2009. So my sister gave me a journal, even though my mom said no. She said that after her first painting sold, mom would get her a few. She gave me one of them, so I'm kind of happy about that. Nobody really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. The reporter met my family the other day after cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean, and sweeping up all the broken beer glasses from dad, I assume. And lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the driveway, pin and notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door, just before closing shut, struck my nose and I started, it, and it, and I started bleeding. It was really the first time I've ever seen that much blood it tasted very metallic, as someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there and drank it. I never got to meet the reporter, even though I really wanted to, Marcus. So are you Marcus? Did you enjoy the song? Fuck no. I'm just gonna say yes. Do you remember <clears throat> what happened to her? Nope. No. Do you remember what happened to your family? No. I think she's, she, she killed him. The screaming, can you hear it? Yes. Did while I go. <laughs> yes. Have you seen her? Yes. Are you lying? Nope. No. Nope, just scared the fuck out of She's us. watching you. Do you have her eyes on you? At all times. Yeah. Turn around. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear the footsteps? 
No? Don't get closer to the door. No. <gasps> what the fuck? No. You, you seen that, right? Oh, you just glitched. Out of the fucking closet and into the living room. Error. Oh, look, there's blood. Fancy that. That one got me. Mm. It got me a little. Not gonna lie. You can walk around. Oh, indeed. Fuck it. Fuck it, let's see it. Oh, good. I don't remember seeing a door there. Yeah, I seen it. Maybe a you know, trail of blood wasn't there or something. Where's the fucking angel? The angel's missing. I noticed that. See if you can fall back in. Pull out your phone. Unless that was just supposed to happen. 82997. Error. 82997. I feel like that's got to be important. 82997. Okay. Question mark on the key now. for that room there or for the room downstairs? I guess it's for the room downstairs. The option you didn't want. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I like to brother's room. Or should I say your room? statue and you can't go around it either that creepy fucking song's playing again hey something's on the TV that was in the bedroom what happened? I believe so well don't go in the bedroom she figured out her safe place is not good. Hey. <sighs> Just fucking jump at me already. The closet isn't tape anymore. No, it isn't. She's looking at the closet. I know it. Come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. Fucking scare us already. She's gonna moonwalk out of her only safe spot. Yeah, that's right. Stay out of our spot. Did that door lock? I don't know. We got some documents. True. Look, 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 note two. <clears throat> I'm kind of sad. I mean, I'm only 15, but mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing like thing a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quit both of their jobs just to pursue it because it apparently makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll keep in a, make an excuse. Or maybe I'll try telling no. I wish they would pay more attention to Marcus, too. He puts so much effort in, every, in everything and does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week, 
and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present, besides me. Anyways, it's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he always had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary sometimes, Lilith. <coughs> I hate painting. Mom and Dad <coughs> want me to finish one piece a week. It takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet the quota. On top of going to school, I try to tell my dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. Today, I tried to stand up to them. <clears throat> I tried telling my yeah. him that I didn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting, even though I did. So he called Marcus down. He grunted. So if you don't have the right color of red, you could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus, and he started hitting hitting his, his him until blood started to drip from his nose and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze, <clears throat> poured it all over Marcus, and walked off muttering something. Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading this book about cars. Okay, so you went fucking batshit. <clears throat> Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside a suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be a brother and a sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was on a business trip. The brother was going to high school, also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is not clear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Officials not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of us due to the circumstances of the situation. Damn, so apparently you get the shit out of you. Because you didn't have the right oh, color. Fuck it. No. Just aiming at it. Is that her or I'm gonna turn the light off. Damn, oh, I wanna see if it Oh it is her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that one didn't get me, I was already waiting. <laughs> Sister's room is locked. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Gotcha. Oh, still flickering, okay. I wonder where the statue is. Oh, no. I mean, am I supposed to be doing something, or...? I don't know. Uh, question mark, perhaps? Or is it a survey? Survey. Closet. Help. Help. Messages. Eight, two, oh, eight, eight, nine, two, six, four is the address. Is that her 
there's still a time limit on the next hint. So far. Turn the fuck off. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Man, I don't understand what it's for. Beat the shit out of me. Hey. Oh, never mind. What? I seen a little dot thing and I was like, hey, there's something. But it was probably just the light of the door. Oh, oh, well. I mean, I guess I gotta wait till the end of the little hint. Whatever. More than likely. Screw it. Safety, safety. God. Is there nothing there? I mean, there's nothing. Back in. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. All right. We'll be back as soon as the next hint's available. All right. So now we have the next hint. Find the pictures hanging on the walls with these Roman numerals. Activate them in this order. It will open a door. Retrieve the note inside. Eight, okay. Nine, two, six, four. <laughs> Alright, four. Eight, is nine, two, six, four. That's gonna be the last one. That one is four. Eight is downstairs. Eight and nine are downstairs. That's two. Two. I don't remember there being one with six. Right there. Ah. That one. That one first. Eight. Eight. <clears throat> Nine. Nine is in the living room. room. Upstairs in the room. Two. Um, two. Back downstairs. Screaming, the crying, can you hear it too? For eternity, eternity. I have lived, and for one more, I, I shall live on. on, trapped inside these memories with the devil himself. So, okay. A little creepy. Yeah, we can just stay in the closet. <sighs> Alright, so let's go read this note. Little note four. I can't move. Today I woke up and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I try to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital, just in case it was severe or life-threatening. But the staff seemed to be clueless as to what I actually have. They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI in order to verify the diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. 
I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream, because in a way it felt like it lasted forever. Lilith. Okay, that's weird, because every time you see her, you run away from her. Maybe you're the fucking ghost. fucking weird. It got oddly quiet when you did that. Mm. Alright. Go ahead and read. We can't see her if the note's up. Uh, I told you. Yeah, there you go. Hide behind the plant. <laughs> Plants always hold flashlights. Okay, documents. Marcus, note two. My parents took Lilith to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. <clears throat> she said it felt completely stiff, as if all of the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lilith's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down. After repositioning the joint back into the socket, I made a sling with some old rags. I found in the closet... It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this little project with my, with some, of my friends. with some of my friends. We're trying to create our own braking system for a car, something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking system remotely. That would be an interesting challenge, as long as I don't have to stay home, right? Marcus. <laughs> Hopefully. To the Walker family. We had some difficulty in regards to diagnosing your daughter's specific condition, but we have concluded that it is Barbaro dysplasia ossificans or ossificans progressiva. It's a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified, basically, basically turning into bone. bone. This is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition. There are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition, but I admit <clears throat> the future looks fairly grim. In all honesty, this is what will eventually happen. The disease will spread throughout her body until most of her soft tissue, including tendons, ligaments, and even muscle, will become ossified. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain. But other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to the age of 40. If she is lucky, luck please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience, Dr. Gammon. Damn. I bet her parents are still forcing her to paint, too. And why does she always be turning out lights? That is a creepy ass picture on the wall. Could you imagine having something like that though? That shit would be horrible. Turn on the lights. Did you do that? No. Fuck. Fork and open it. According to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. <laughs> 
Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter, Lily, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Willis' talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Willis' art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, depending yeah. on the buyer. Not bad. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 Creepy. I guess open the door. Can you? Oh, fuck, that scared me. shortly. There you go. Just look out the window. We don't want to see what's happening. Be my lucky jump down. Yeah, right. She fucking comes through the window. The door swings in, don't it? Hello? We're, we're not in here. Yeah, don't turn that shit off. We're not in here. I mean, I'm trying to. We're not in here. Fucking trying to open the door. She's gone. She's gonna come moonwalking through the fucking wall here in a second. I don't think we were supposed to see that. I don't either. So we went around and opened up all the doors and called the lights on. Hey! We can leave. Keep your damn lights on, woman. Shit. Right. I'll pay that high ass light bill. Right, time to bust open and dock you. Made 
Marcus is third. Alright. He's only got Should two so far. Score? Nope. Well, that's good. My parents gave me the news, so I have this condition called... Fibrodysplasia, is what we're going to call it. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles gradually turn into bone. They said that eventually I'll lose my ability in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere until I need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. <sighs> it hurts to walk around and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way or else it'll speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in, knowing that I'll slowly become more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? <clears throat> I wish that I could stop painting, or that I wouldn't have to anymore. And this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there's a good chance that I won't be able to walk, and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day I overheard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault, Lilith. It's not your fault. Your parents are fucking assholes. I really don't like that picture. <laughs> I don't see the statue. Okay. Maybe you're just supposed to like walk around the house or something. Oh, the phone. Whoa. It just went off. Okay, so uh, yeah, the game just kind of like kicked out. I have no idea what happened. Um, give me just a moment. Alright, so we have no idea what happened. Game just kicked out. Hasn't booted up. Um, I'm guessing that's not going to be all for this video. Uh, appreciate y'all for being here. Apologize about the inconvenience. I really don't know what to do about that. Maybe I can try uninstalling or reinstalling the game again. And uh, if it works, I'll try to pick back off where we left off at. and Come back and edit the video. You know, come back and just... You know, or I'll just put it as a part two. But anyways, thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.